I Know You by Hindu Maliman. I Know You. That's the subject line I use every time. I'm not going to claim I'm a hacker. I'm more of a social engineer. I use various tricks to get information out of people. Passwords, favorite colors, email addresses. I break into their accounts and look at their photos. I learn everything about them and then I use it. I know you. They read this before seeing their social security number, a picture of them standing in front of their new house, their work address, and their boss's number. Pretty simple stuff at first. Most ignore me, then I dig a bit deeper. Everyone has something just under the surface, a beating heart beneath the floorboards, if you will. When I find it, I let them know. Then I tell them the price of forgetting. This was a good business for a while. A sucker is born every minute, and I felt like I knew them all. Then I came across someone curious. Their accounts were painfully easy to access, which was odd because it was clear they were loaded. Picture after picture of vacations across the world and such fancy houses. Already I was thinking about tripling my fee when I got an email. I read the words silently, lips trembling, as the familiar friends left the threshold past my tongue. I know you too. They listed my full name, my address, my date of birth. All of this information I painstakingly scrubbed from all of my accounts. I hid behind proxies. I used a VPN. I switched burners between every hit. And yet, they were able to contact me. I packed up. I ignored them changed emails, and changed habits. I hoped they wouldn't find me after that, but I figured I knew what came next. I was wrong. Next came pictures. Not things taken from social media, but pictures that shouldn't exist. Pictures of me kicking my dog when I was a kid. Pictures of me crying in the bathroom after being rejected. A picture of my mother in the home I sent her to, looking desperate and tired. All of them watermarked with the simple phrase, I know you too. It kept going. It just kept going. Eventually I tried to reply, but it never went through. I kept wondering what they wanted. They didn't ask for money. They didn't ask for anything. They just kept sending me pictures that couldn't have possibly been taken and information I'd never posted anywhere. My thoughts, my dreams, fears, and all the rest laid bare. They knew me better than I did. Eventually the guilt weighed me down and hollowed me out. I hadn't eaten or slept in days. Trembling, hands weakly gripped my phone as I dialed the number to the police. I confessed my crimes to them. Every single one. Their reply was silence at first. Then a deep crackling voice said only two words. I know.